Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. So lately there have been a revival of all of the rumors around Megan and the Disney voiceover that money that was supposed to go to the elephants and apparently was didn't actually go to the elephants or to the elephant charity. Uh, Lately in Quora and on Instagram, there was a lot of information claiming that uh, Disney wanted to pass the money towards uh, the charity themselves and Megan didn't uh, agree because she wanted to be able to uh, get the tax, tax reduction through Archwell and they gave up and gave her the money and that money never arrived to that um the charity and uh, they disney took it upon themselves and paid the money to the charity from their own packet pocket so actually what happened is that megan stole the money for the that was supposed to go to charity and you all remember how she got that gig from the uh, from the first place harry found it very uh, uh, useful to uh, not go to a very important memorial service that he was supposed to go that he already uh, verified that he's going as the head of the royal marines and instead he went with uh, megan to the premiere of the um, Lion King and shamelessly pitched her up and she shamelessly said, we are here to pitch. So uh, that was really terrible. And despite all of that, you would expect that at least the money will go to charity as she promised, but it didn't. So what is the hidden truth behind that? Where did the money really go? And did Disney really pay that money to the, um, to the charity because Megan kept the money to herself? So this is the spirit song, um, Tarot, which is another, uh, animal uh, deck and because of the elephant on the cover I decided to use this one for this reading and I'm using the crystal ball oracle because it gives us some sometimes uh, very straight answers of yes no so maybe we can get a straight answer from the oracle as well so before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. Okay, so clearing the deck. Okay, what is the hidden truth behind the claim that Megan stole the money that was supposed to go to the Elephant Foundation uh, from Disney, uh, from the vo voiceover Disney work that she did about the elephant? So what happened to that money? Did it go to their own pocket or did they actually gave the money to the charity what is the truth behind that what is the hidden truth behind the money megan received for her elephant voiceover from disney what really happened to that money Cutting it into three. And taking the middle one, usually that's what I do. The first card is telling us what is the truth behind that situation. 
And what I'm getting here is the chariot. And the chariot is a card that speaks about ch chasing your dreams no matter what. This is a major arcana. This is a very spiritual card. And what it actually tells us that the truth is that Megan was chasing her, the, that career. She chased a Disney in order to have this opportunity. Later on, Disney themselves said that Megan needs them more than she needs, uh, more than uh, they need her. And this is a card that shows that she was uh, not thinking about anything else but her own uh, dream uh, being, becoming true reality, uh, even if it means quarrels, even if it means fights, even if it means tendency to, to hurt others, no matter what, she would go after the, the dream and she would even act in the wrong way. Now, acting in the wrong way here is going to that premiere instead of going to uh, the Royal Marines event. Uh, that was the main thing that they did wrong when they uh, chased after uh, Megan's uh, career as a voiceover. So uh, this card shows that she would do nothing uh, nothing will stop her from uh, getting her dreams realized. And that means everything. Now, this is a bad, bad card when it comes out in relationship. So it shows that her relationship to Harry was mostly about using him as a jumping a jumping post in order to be able to jump further on in her notoriety and to get things that she would never uh, get as Meghan Markle. So this card show is, is, is a really terrible card when we're talking about relationships and when we're talking about uh, things like that, a business situation, it, she would do anything and anything is even stealing, conniving, whatever you just can you can just think about, this is something that she would do in order to uh, to make her dream come true. So that is the the truth behind the situation. So the next card is what happened to the money? Now I'm not asking about the situation, I'm talking about the money. What happened to the money? And we get the Ten of Acorns. Ten of Acorns is the Ten of Wands in this deck. And the Ten of Wands is an overload. This is taking upon yourself way too much. This is thinking that all of your obstacles will, get, will just uh, disappear, but actually, no. So if we're asking if that money actually uh, got to the charity, the answer is no. If uh, we want to know what exactly happened to it, it stayed in a place where it is still... A, an overload, something, a place where she cannot actually use it because everybody will ask where she got it from, but uh, it's still in a place where it is uh, way too much for her to handle. She doesn't know how to, uh, to, to, to solve that problem. This is a card of self-destruction. This is a card of a person who doesn't, le ne doesn't le uh, listen to his partner. So when Megan decided that she wanted to keep that money, Harry wasn't in it. He didn't want her to do that. And he tried to persuade her not to do that. She didn't listen. So this is why right now she's in that position because everybody is asking where did the money go and she needs to show the world that she did give it away but she didn't so this is an overload uh, for her she thought that she might get get it under the rug she thought that she might everything will will just 
uh, get get along okay, that uh, things just will happen uh, in a way that uh, people will forget or something. But it, it, she should have known that nobody forgets anything about her. So this card shows this is an overload. This is breaking and collapsing. This is a card of someone who is over ambitious, a card who is uh, of someone who is this self-destructive because of that. And this is a second card of quarrels and uh, mayhem and resistance and qu qu conflicts, both of them. So both of them show that around that ho whole thing, uh, both the going to the uh, premier instead of going to the Royal Marines and both uh, keeping the money. Both of these things caused a lot of quarrels, a lot of conflict between her and Harry. And uh, most of all, uh, she is she's willing to do whatever it, it, uh, she can or whatever is possible to advance herself. This is what the chariot says to, to us. And she never thought that she would arrive to this place where she doesn't know how to get out of it. But this is an overload. This is something that just collapses her. Okay, so why is she hiding this from the entire world? Why is she doing that? And what we're getting here is the King of Crystals. King of Crystals, that is, if I'm not mistaken, the King of Cups. Let me just wait and see. No, Crystals is King of Pentacles. Okay, so if it, if it wasn't uh, clear before, it's clear now. The King of Pentacles, that is the general manager. That is the person that is uh, independent financially, that the person who knows how to handle money. So this is what she wants to become. She wants to have the money. She wants to be uh, financially independent. She cannot do that as long as she's not, she doesn't have the money. And every drop of money counts. So she kept the money because this is part of her being, this king of pentacles. This is what she wanted to become. This is why she did that. Okay, so the next card is what did Disney do when they realized that the money did not arrive to, uh, to the, the elephants? And we get the sun. So the sun is a card of abundance. The, sakar, the sun is a card of a... Uh, of, uh, receiving abundance, of get, giving abundance. This is the father card. This it, it actually this signif uh, signifies Disney, in my, in my opinion, in this spread. Because Disney came out and said to the elephant charity, don't, don't fret, we will give you the money. This money needs to go to you, we will give it to you. This is what the sun means. Uh, this is a card of someone who is not caring about uh, the, the money. He's able to give it. This is a card of someone who is like a good father and is willing to do whatever it takes to help uh, his children or, his, uh, or the people that he uh, said that he will help. And this mon the money from the Disney uh, program was supposed to go there. This is what they did. They just gave it to them and they decided not to do anything with Megan because the card of the son, once again, because it's the father, he, this is not someone who will go and speak about someone else badly. This is a responsible father. This is someone who cares about all of them. So I'm not saying that Disney are a, a righteous and that they have no that, that don't, they don't have flaws but in this instance they uh, preferred not to arise all sorts of rumors not to rise all sorts of a dispute or quarrels, they preferred to give the money, to give the abundance to the elephant and just 
keep everything that Megan did for themselves. And this is because they feel responsible and they feel that they should have given the money to the elephant from the beginning. They shouldn't have listened to her. They feel responsible for letting her do what she did. And because of that, uh, they are willing to take the blame on them. Okay, so that is the tarot. Now I'm going to go to the oracle and I'm going to, I want to say, see what does the oracle say about this whole situation. So let's see what does the crystal ball say. Okay, the money that Megan was given from, from Disney for the elephant documentary. What happened to that money? Did she give it to charity? Did she keep it for herself? So let's ask a yes or no question. And I'm going to go with, did Megan keep the money for herself? What happened to that money? Okay, and the answer is follow the light. <laughs> okay, so follow the light, follow the money. This is like follow the trails, follow what you can in order to find the truth. The oracle doesn't want to give us the real uh, truth, but let's take another card and see what another card is saying. Something better. So... The oracle doesn't want to tell us uh, that she stole the money. He doesn't want, it, but it does give us hints. Follow the light, seek for something better, and in the something better, you can see animals in, in here, all sorts of wild animals. So the animals did receive money, probably not from Megan, but they did receive the money. So I believe that Disney did give the money, uh, to the elephants uh, after Megan decided to take that for herself. But uh, this is telling us to follow the trails of uh, all of the crumb bread crumbs that we're getting uh, from people who know. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.